Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, in today's video I'm going to be teaching you how to make uh, role dividers for your server. Um, so let's just hop right into it. So first step, add Dino to your server. Um, as you can see I've already added him. Um, and once you've done that we'll be using him later. So now um, where the interesting part comes. So here um, are two things we're going to need to make our role dividers. So these are both going to be in the description. So this here is going to be the color code that you're going to put in to make it invisible. And then this right here is going to be what we are going to be inserting into the uh, roll so that it doesn't um, doesn't like go down. So if I was to put my roll divider here, um, what would happen is there could be two on one line like there is right here. So if this is long enough and we insert this, then um, there's there can be only one roll on this line. So um, let's copy this um, hex code, hex color code. And let's go into our server settings, go to rules, and then we're going to create some, a couple of rules. So what we have is we have staff rules, we have color rules, we have leveling rules, and we have game rules. So those are the ones that we're going to be making today. So let's do staff rules first. Um, obviously customize these so that you don't accidentally give them any permissions that you wouldn't want anyone to have. So let's go to custom color. We're going to erase um, these numbers. And we're going to paste those. And as you can see, the text is now invisible unless like I highlight it. So um, let's just create all of our colors. And after that, we'll uh, get the special character that we're going to be inserting. So next is uh, level rules. Oops. So let's put in the hex code for there. So now that's invisible. Let's create another one. Uh, we have color rules. Put in the hex code again. Uh, we have staff. So let's create a new one. Staff. Oops, rules. So, so far we have color, level, staff. Oh, we already made staff. Okay, let me delete that. Um, and now game. Games. So let's make our gaming rules. Game. I'll just do game related. Um, and let's give it the custom color and then let's save our changes. Okay, so um, our next step is, uh, so while this is saving, um, so we're going to grab our special character, and uh, you're going to, here, okay, so the special character that's right here, we're going to take this, we're going to copy it, so let's copy it right here, go to server settings, rules, and now all of our rules should be right here, let's get rid of this so I can do this quicker, um, game related, so let's find the very start of game related. I'm going to paste that there. Let's find the very end, paste that on the other side. So we're going to be pasting this um, at the beginning and at the end. Level rules, let's do the same thing for that. And then the end. And then staff rules. Beginning and the end. Okay, so once we've done that, um, what we're going to do is we are going to be moving these up so that they show up. So, for example, staff rules. Um, all the staff rules are going to be showing up up here. Color rules right here. Uh, leveling rules right here. And game rules right here. Um, so now that looks pretty decent. Um, so let's save these changes. And I'm going to be showing you what we're going to be doing with Dino. So that's saving. So um, you're going to invite it to your server, you're going to click add to server, you're going to pick one of yours, and then you're going to go to manage servers up here. Um, let's go to the infamous test server. Okay, so now that we are in our um, server dashboard, uh, we're going to have the modules tab right here. So let's click on modules. And then uh, it's uh, this thing right here, auto rules. So turn this on, go to settings. And we are basically going to make these, um, the rules that we just created, um, 
basically, let me remove these ones because these are not anything that we want. Um, uh, we're gonna make sure that these that the members that join get these roles when they join, so that we don't have to auto uh, assign them to them. So select role. Let's get our staff roles. Put the delay to zero, and add the role. So we just added that. We're gonna do our color roles next. Uh, for some reason, the lines aren't showing up. Maybe this needs to be refreshed, but um, you get the idea. It's color rules, zero, and basically just add every single one of those. Um, so this saved. Yeah, so um, it should be showing those up, but uh, for some reason that's not working. I guess maybe it's the special character, but let's just do the rest. Um, so we have staff, color, game. Um, and then we also had level rules, so let's do zero. Oh, you can only have three. Okay, so, um, maybe not do the staff rules. It, it depends how many, um, categories you have for your rules. But, um, yeah. So just escape out of there. And now we can test this out. So I'm just going to test this out on, um, my friend. So I'm going to give him a, um, some colors. I'm going to give him, um, a level. And then I'm also going to give him a game. Uh, I'll just do a random one. Now let's um, assign these specific ones. And as you can see, um, they look pretty nice. And they work. So they're invisible so that you can't see the colors. Um, and they basically block these off. Oops. Where's which is level roll? Oh, oh, yeah. Well, I need to put that up. But, um, yeah. So once you've done that, you should be done. I'm just going to fix this really quick. Uh, oh, he doesn't have verified, is that why? Okay, well, anyways, yeah, so, so you get the point. Um, let me just give him verified real quick. Okay, and then level rolls will be, yeah, above there. So, um, th that should be it for the video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you did, like, subscribe, um, maybe check out some of my other tutorials if you'd like. And, um, yeah, that should be it. Bye.